Hi, Gary from ATVTracks.net. This is Willie, my partner. Nate, my partner. We're all the experts in tracks. We're actually going to be doing a video on a comparison between the Polaris Prospector, Prospector Pro, and Prospector 2 versus the benefits of the Camso 4S1. Being in business since 2004, we are the largest track dealer in the world. We also have a lot of custom applications. We have them for the Samurai, the Geo Tracker, the Chevy Tracker, a lot of the Razor Pros, a lot of the high performance UTVs that Camso doesn't make for them. We actually make custom brackets for them. Uh, in, in, in close, we'll show you a picture of what we have. There will be a link on the website for custom vehicles and plates soon so you can see all the special products that we have for our customers. Players started getting into the track system around 2015. They started first with what they call the Prospector. It was actually a copy or made by Sosi in Canada. And you could tell if you have a Prospector, there's a metal tag that says made by Sosi. Uh, it was not a good system and neither was the Kimpex Trek, which is the same one. So that was discontinued after two years. So if you have a old track system you're thinking about buying and it says and it's a metal frame and it says Sosi, Polaris made by Sosi, S-A-U-C-E-Y, don't buy them. There are no parts available, no hubs available, no tracks available. Now around 2015-16 Polaris had Camso, which was previously called Camoplast, make tracks for them. That was called the Prospector Pro. Prospector is the old one, Pro is the the middle one. Now in 2019, they still had Camso Plast, which is now called Camso, make one called the Prospector Pro 2. I'm gonna show you the difference between the Polaris tracks and the Camso tracks and the benefits that I think which is with the Camso tracks. First of all, this is a very old uh, design, but basically this is what we would call the Polaris Prospector Pro. Okay, so the difference between the Polaris hub and the Camsel hub is that Camsel, they all have the same outside diameter with the spacer. What Polaris has done, because Camsel didn't want to have Polaris have the same track, they put a quarter inch lip here and made a skinnier bearing, but it still had the same outside hub. That's why the Polaris hub will fit in the Camsel tracks and the Camsel hubs will fit in the Polaris tracks. Another difference is the Polaris hub is $400, Camsel's is $185. There is also a difference in the drive gears. Polaris has two drive gears, Camsel has four. The cost of a drive gear on a Polaris is $360. The cost on a Camsel 4S1 is $105. So it's quite a variance in price. So all the uh, tracks have a sticker on them. This one here is actually a Camoplast sticker for 6822. If this was made by Polaris, which is the Prospector Pro, it'll say Polaris made by Camoplast. The serial number will start with an 8522. This is the Prospector Pro, and it has a threaded rod for adjusting the track tension. Now we're gonna go to the Prospector 2 Pro. The difference is, instead of having a adjuster on the side with a nut and bolt, they have the adjuster inside. All these parts here are made by Camoplast for Polaris. The main difference is the hub and the drive gear. So if you need a bogey wheel, any Camsel dealer can sell it to you. If you need the large bogey wheel, a high fax, the track, they're all the same as the Polaris. The only difference is the hub. There are a few benefits to that I feel with the Camso over the Polaris. First of all, Polaris has a six month warranty. Camso has a two year warranty against defect, not abuse. One of the greater benefits of the Camso product is, let's say you have a Polaris General four hole and 
you basically want to go to possibly an expedition, which is a five hole. You would have to sell your Polaris and buy a new track system. Camsell doesn't want people making mistakes with the track system, so they have what they call a transfer kit. So I could take this Camsell set of tracks off of a Polaris and I can put it onto a Honda 1000. It's called a transfer kit. Price is approximately $800. You will get four drive gears, four hubs, and an install kit. Basically, that's about a $1,600 benefit from Camsell because they want you, when you put it on your vehicle, to be perfect. If it's a Polaris, sell it, buy the right product. Another advantage to Camsell is they have four different drive gears. So if you have a 570 Ranger, you might run a 15 tooth drive gear because there's not a lot of power. You have a 1,000, you're going to run an 18 tooth. They also have a 17 and a 16. So the main benefit is if you buy the 4S1, which is a great product, you can make it fit your next vehicles for the next 10 years by buying a transfer kit. You buy a Polaris, you sell it, and then buy another kit that fits. This is the sticker on the Prospector Pro 2, which is the same as the Camsell UTV 4S1. The difference is it'll say Polaris made by Camsell. The serial number will start with an 8522. Another advantage about the Camsell Corporation is that they make a transfer kit for ATVs also. You can make your Honda fit a Polaris, Polaris hit a Kawasaki, all very reasonable for like $660. And at times you will also get, that will include $1,500 worth of parts. As far as the parts department, uh, we at ATVTracks.net stock $250,000 worth of parts. 95% of the time, we ship the same day. Uh, they're, they're, if you need just the, the front plates because you lost them, we can sell them to you. You need half of the bogey wheels, we can sell them to you. Uh, we ship overnight. We take great care of our customers. ATVTracks.net, 866-243-8359.